Hello and welcome to the Sinbin.Vegas game show, virtual game show as we're here on Zoom. We've got a heck of a game lined up today. Special guest Mercedes Martinez, the world-renowned TV and radio host here in Las Vegas. I think you're world-renowned, right? Uh, I don't know, maybe just Las Vegas renowned, but thank you. That's very nice of you. And the not nearly as world-renowned, but also a radio show host, Tyler Bischoff. Number one Jake fantastic. Bischoff sure. fans club president. <laughs> Got to be the only person in the world other than related to Jake Bischoff that has a Jake Bischoff Golden Knight shirt and seemingly forgot how to put it on correctly. No, this is the right way. Name on even, the front. We also even. have three contestants, Claire, Connor, and Cannon. Today's teams are Jason and Claire, Mercedes and Connor, and T Tyler and Cannon. So we're going to go to the rules. The way the rules work are very simple. They're not simple at all, but that's all right. You'll figure it out. Each round, I'm going to ask a th series of three trivia questions. One person is the trivia answerer. That person will try to answer the trivia question correctly, while the other is the matcher. That person will try to guess if their teammate is going to get it correct. Trivia answerers can put up one, two, or three cards, while the matchers will put up a black card for incorrect, or sorry, a black card for correct, and a red card for incorrect. Can't even tell your own rules to your own game. Yeah, it's, uh, one of these days I'll get it figured out. Here's how the scoring works. Two things to notice on the scoring. Number one, you can only score points if you match with your partner. So if there's no match, no points, even if you get the question correctly. The other thing is that the only way to lose points is if the matcher guesses that their partner is going to get the question right, and they do not. So it's actually safer to guess that your partner is going to be an idiot. Got it? Uh, you forgot one, one thing. We still have the crummiest scoreboard uh, of all time, of all video game. I mean, game shows. I mean, Look it does have blue tape on there. Yeah, I did, I did separate it. I mean, the blue <laughs> Claire, tape by the fine. way, I'm sorry for who you're matched up with because he, he's got no chance. The, all right. I, I, enough of these children yelling at each other. <laughs> Let's go to round number oh, one. Yeah. In round number one, Jason, Mar Mercedes, and Tyler, you're trying to match – and Claire, Connor, and Cannon, you are the trivia answerers. Here is question number one and round number one. Which of these casinos is not on the Las Vegas Strip? Caesars Palace, Excalibur, Casino Royale, or Palms? We need our matcher cards first from Jason, Mar Mercedes, and Tyler. There we go. Now our trivia answer cards. You can put up one, two, or three. Claire going with one. Nope, two. Connor with two. Cannon with two. The correct answer is... Cannon with Cannon's one. Cannon's got one. Cannon's oh, got Cannon's one. Cannon's got one. What am I thinking? Man, I'm struggling here. All right, here we go. The answer is Palms. The Palms is not on the strip. However, you can uh, throw a rock and probably hit it from the strip. So we'll see the answers. Claire, we got a diamond in there. So that's two points if, if Jason has a black card. You want me to flip? Yep. Jason does have a black card. Claire, awesome. Great start. Connor, do you have a diamond in there for the correct answer? You do have a diamond in there. Mercedes, yes, that's two points there for Mercedes and Connor. And Cannon has a diamond. Tyler, yes, three points. And Tyler and Cannon take the lead. Best cards in the game. <laughs> we'll get to those ridiculous cards as we go through. All right, question number two, round number one. Who currently wears number 23 for the Golden Knights? Alec Martinez, Daniel Carr, Nick Holden, or Nick Cousins. We need our matcher cards in view first from Jason, Mercedes, and Tyler. There we go. Now our trivia answerer cards. Two from Claire, one from Connor, one from Cannon. The correct answer is Alec Martinez, and I put this great video in. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> the best celebration all year. That, Look at him. Yeah. Oh, God. That is terrible. <laughs> that is Absolutely terrible. terrible. What a goal, but embarrassing. Against the Lightning, that was a good game. All right, so let's see if we got them right. We're looking for spades. Claire, is there a spade in there? No. No, no spade Sorry, Jason. in there. Yeah, no problem. So, Jason, can you get the two points for saying wrong? <sighs> you cannot. It's that all right. That is a loss of two points. It's all right. They're going to go down right. to zero. Ouch. Connor, okay, do you have a spade in there? Yes, he does. Mercedes for three points? Yes. A little bit of cheating there as the last name is also Martinez. <laughs> cheating. Are you related to him? Um, I say I am, but I'm, I really don't think I am. I went to the Jake Bischoff <laughs> round. Yeah, our, yeah, wow, that's right. Unbelievable. A lot of, lot of failed relationships here going on. Cannon, do you have a spade? Yes, he does. And Tyler to match for three? Yes. So six points for Tyler and Cannon there in first. Five points for Mercedes and Connor. 
And Jason, rightful place after two yeah, questions. That's where I like to right. be, Claire. That's where I like Last to be. And with Claire. zero points. Not a boy. Yeah. Keep it going. Nothing new. All right. <laughs> Last question of round number one before we switch. Which of these people is not an NF NHL referee? Not an NHL referee. Dan O'Halloran, Eric Furlat, George Peros, or Wes McCauley. Three of those are referees. One is not. Guesser cards in view there. There we go. Now we'll get our cards. We've got two from Connor, two from Claire, one from Cannon. Feeling confident down there, are we, Cannon? Yeah. What do you think the answer is? Let me see your card. You think it is clubs, which is George Peros. We're going to show the answer in a second here. The answer is indeed clubs. George Peros is actually in charge of handing out discipline and he was a Citizen.Vegas podcast guest. George Peros. Was. The Two other hours. guys have not been. We would never have Dan O'Halloran or Eric Furlett on because those guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> All right. Which yeah, would make it better to have them on. No, I hate them. I He's already got you on the show, them. Jason. I hate them. That's true. <laughs> they ruined the Golden Knights' chance at winning a Stanley Cup. I hate them. Both of them. Terrible. Major. Well, they hate Can't you. See. Not a major. All right, Tyler, three points if you have a black card. That's it. Perfect round for Tyler and Cannon. Nine points. Connor, do you have a club in there? You do. Mercedes for two. Yes. Seven points there. Pretty good round. Not perfect, but good. There is a club in there for Claire, and Jason Ooh. had no faith. <laughs> Sorry, Claire. With zero <laughs> Sorry. Through one round. This is where we like to be. All right, after uh, round number one, we like to meet our contestants, so we're going to do that now. Let's start with Claire. Claire, what's your favorite Golden Knights game that's ever been played? Um, I really liked the home opener when they did the tribute to um, all the Vegas shooting, shooting it's victims. sad, though. I'm, I'm, it I'm, is, I'm yes, crying. but it was very, yes, I did, but it was very touching. What about a happier though. occasion? you have a happier one? I don't know, from game. Chicago, so oh, yeah. I came, when they came here, I got, yes. when I got, Every I was there. Every time we play so. Chicago, they smoke Chicago. I yes. That, they've lost to Chicago one time. Once. That was disappointing. Contestant number two is Connor. Connor, if you could be quarantined with one member of this Zoom call, who would it be? Gosh. Um, probably the intern. Hey, <laughs> oh, no. no one. Answer. <laughs> You're out of your mind. He, he knows what he's talking about. You want to go oh. sit in that room with that crummy scoreboard there? I got to suck up to the scorekeeper. Oh, that, okay, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. And uh, Cannon, what's the best thing that you have uh, done while locked in your house for the last month and a half? <laughs> uh, just getting things done around the house that I typically wouldn't have for with my work. Fair enough. I was concerned that that question was going to turn from PG to R. I actually, <laughs> as I wrote it, I thought it was a normal question. And as I read it aloud, I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be bad. All right. So in round number two, we switch. We're switching. So that means that... Jason, Mercedes, and Tyler, you're answering trivia. Claire, Connor, and Cannon, you have to put your uh, guesses in view first. So here we go. Round number two, question number one. Who was leading the Golden Knights in goals when the season was paused? Riley Smith, Max Pacioretty, Mark Stone, or my personal favorite, Vadim Shipashev. Connor's got his guess. Claire has her guess. Cannon has his guess. We'll go with Tyler, Mercedes. You can go one, two, or three. Mercedes is confident. Tyler is confident. Jason is confident. Before we get the answer, let's flip all three of those, Jason, Mercedes, and Tyler. Do we all have the same answer? Hearts, spades, and hearts. Uh-oh, Mercedes. Going with Riley. You qualify that as a heart? Yes. Uh, the answer is hearts. Oh, Max Pacioretty. <laughs> he had 32. You had second place there, Mercedes. He had 27. <laughs> so we'll go to Can Connor. We're looking for a red card. No, oh. no red card. So that's going to be a loss of one there. Sorry, Claire, Connor. black card for three. Yes, black card for three. They're on the board. Still in last place, though. Yeah, and Cannon, you can get three. Yes, he will get three. And Tyler and Cannon continue to be perfect. Again, Mercedes, his, just, his just, diamonds. Just the feeling there. His diamonds and heart look the same. Clearly different. 
Get it together. I just remember <laughs> tweeting out a bunch of, I always tweet out their emojis when they score, and I feel like I tweeted out a bunch of apples. We're, We're 27, <laughs> but 32. Matt, what is, what is Patcher? I hate the emoji. It's a joystick. So it's a, like, Pac-Man. Like Pac yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's yeah. really dumb, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. What are the other, Marsh so is like a monkey or something? No, Marsh so is like a uh, bullhorn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but Marsh so should be a monkey because he's the spider monkey, right? He should. Yes. Mark Stone is a stone. What is, St oh, Stasties is a stupid walnut or something? Yeah. But that would make sense. sense. Polly Walnuts. They're all dumb. I hate all of them. Just write yeah. their names. What? <laughs> that news emoji kind of looks like your head, Ken. Wow. That's mean. <laughs> That's mean. Balding joke. All right, question number two. Which of these sports betting options pays the most money? The most money. 10 to 1, minus 500. Plus five hundred or plus one fifty. Cannon's got his guess. Claire has his her guess. Connor, yeah, got his guess. All right, let's get our trivia answers. One from Jason, one from Mercedes, one from Tyler. All feeling confident. The answer is spades ten to one. Means you win ten bucks for every dollar. That's good. Mercedes, you're showing your spade. That's correct. Connor, can you match for three? Yes. Up to nine. Tyler, did you get a spade? He did oh. not. Tyler did not. Cannon. What is this? That is a loss of one point. What did you think it was? Uh, 50 plus 500? Oh, plus 500. Yeah, close enough. Don't you do a radio show that involves gambling? No, not anymore. Oh, you don't? You got, you got fired during quarantine? <laughs> what? No, the radio show still exists. The whole sports betting part doesn't exist. Oh, I get it. Fair enough. <laughs> Boy, I got nervous there. <laughs> like, oh, geez, we brought on a person who's not even a radio show host anymore. <laughs> He's just some random dude wearing a backward shirt. Jason, do you have a, a spade? You, boy, that lighting's terrible. Yes, yeah. you do. You do, and Claire, yes, three points. Right, Still in dead Claire. last, but creeping up the scoreboard. 11 to 9 to 6. Yes. Are you lefty? Yeah. Oh my God! I hate. We have him a left-handed scoreboard guy now. Oh. Oh. Who's sorry, lefty? sorry. I'm just a little better than all the righties. Oh sure. Lefty. Yeah, lefty. Doesn't that mean Why? You're like artistic and shit. Yeah, I went to middle school for art. And how'd that work out? We have. Oh, well, he's drawing a scoreboard. Draw. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he's drawing a scoreboard. Fair <laughs> enough. All right, let's go to the next question. Round number two, question number three, the final question of this round. How many regular Sinbin.Vegas podcast episodes have there been? A regular episode means it's not a special episode. Special episode means ones that are like podcast or uh, prospect episodes or bonus episodes. Those don't count. Regular Sinbin.Vegas podcast episodes. The ones when Jason and Ken yell at each other for about half of it. Or, well, or yell at you. Was like 70 didn't have Jason on there, but 94, 154, 194, or 294. We've got Claire's guess in the screen there. Connor's guess is in. Cannon's guess is in. We're looking for cards from Jason, Mercedes, and Tyler. Two, I should two, know, and right? two. Everybody's going with two. Nobody very confident. Yeah, once again, every time we ask the questions about our own podcast, Jason has no idea. <laughs> the answer is 194 the first one ever was produced in october of 2015 and it was me by myself talking to a guy who barely spoke english who was from quebec back in the days when we thought quebec might also be getting a team that podcast was probably awful i have since deleted <laughs> it off the face of the planet <laughs> well technically it's 193 then you know who else we had on the podcast that I just realized a few days ago? The fabulous uh, Mayor Goodman. Oh. Who uh, has made some news recently. We should have her on again. <laughs> yeah, I don't we think she'd come on this time. Oh. <laughs> and Mercedes, how many times have you interviewed Mayor Goodman? Oh, uh, it's been a few. Probably, I'd say, like, 10 to 15 times. Were Not any of them bad. as terrible as that one she just did? No, I can't say this <laughs> Oh my God. Irreparable harm to the city of Las Vegas. Way to go, Mayor. All right, we're looking for clubs. Jason, 
you got to stop putting your cards out of view. We th- there's yeah. a sleight of hand going on. It's a good we'll, thing give it we'll say he got it. Claire, yes, that's a match. Look at that. Two Three points in a row. down there. Mercedes, <laughs> is there a club? There is not a club. Two oh. points for a red card for Connor. Yes, oh. two points for the red card. Good job. <laughs> Tough good question. Guess. Got it right. Job, Tyler. There is a, a thing that looks there. like a penis. Yeah, yeah, same thing. That? It's a club. We'll give it to him. <laughs> they they are different. They're different. No. Oh. Zero points there. Zero. And we have a tie atop the Sorry. leaderboard at the end of round number two. 11, 11, and seven. Now we'll read our fancy sponsor read. Today's game is brought to you by Modern Rivals. Modern Rivals is the official outfitter of Sinbin.Vegas. Use our promo code right there on the screen, Sinbin20, and you can get 20% off. So a great selection of VGK, UNLV, Raiders, Aces, Late Lights, and I ran out of breath to name the last one, Gear. You can go there right now, ModernRivalsLV.com. And actually, most shit is more uh, discounted than 20%, but our 20% lasts forever. So that yep. is good. Do they sell oh. Jake Bischoff uh, shirts? I'm just no, no Jake friend. Bischoff. No, they do not. Okay. Okay. They only sell good uh, Golden Knights gear. I am the <laughs> only, only one that matters. <laughs> well, let's meet Tyler. Tyler, your MO is to use ridiculous stats to prove facts that most people think are incorrect, but technically are correct. What's your favorite technically correct stat? I mean, it used to be that Vadim Shipashov was the all-time leader in shooting percentage, but that is not accurate anymore. Oof. It's not? Who, who's no. the new leader? Uh, Alec Martinez still is ahead of him. Wow. Hmm. How many you shots? Will... Do you know how many shots he has? Martinez, uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's, it's better than a 33% well, rate at the moment. Does, does Vadim lead in any stat anymore? Um, no, actually, he's third in a shooting percentage. Who the hell Take came that. up and scored one goal? What about points per minutes? No, so who was it? Gate, who the hell came up? Was it Patrick Brown? Who came up and yeah. scored? Oh, yeah, goal? yeah, Patrick <laughs> Brown. And he's never going to come back, so Patrick Brown's going to have that forever. Oh, you don't know that. You never know. Maybe Patrick Brown. We should get Patrick Brown on this show. He would be great. Yeah. He's a that good guy. Cool. All right, Mercedes, you're the host of not one but two fantastic shows in town. You do tons of interviews. Who is the most memorable interview you've ever done? Oh, man. Um, I think Lady Gaga was a great interview. I loved her. But my most memorable was, had to be Slash from Guns N' Roses because <laughs> – he was like the coolest, most intelligent guy with like the greatest stories ever. I could have talked to him all day. He was so amazing. Are you aware that you've interviewed me and the correct answer was me? Sorry, <laughs> you were third right after all right. No, not even second. second. <laughs> and I thought that was a slam dunk. You were a great interview, though, I have to say. And you were prompt. You were awesome. That was she's, like six in the morning. It up I had just woken up and read my phone that said that Gallant had gotten fired. And, I, and, and Mercedes texted me. He's like, hey, want to come on? And I'm like, I need to wake up first. I don't know how I had any energy or had anything, but. We got the scoop, though. We were your first interview after that big news. That right? is true. You actually were before my Periscope. We your got tears you dry. You got you. That That's was right. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know how I kept it PG on your show. <laughs> I, was, I was a little worried. <laughs> I know. I was nervous. I was nervous for myself. Jason, what do you have today? Well, uh, you know, I purchased my Golden Knights mask, right? And I'm waiting for that to come in. I think there's a link on our Twitter account. Is that there correct? Is. Well, while yes. I wait, I've been forced to wear this one. And uh, can you see it? No. No. This is failure. Is that, is that Donald Donald Trump? Disney? Disney. Yeah. 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 So I need that Golden Knights one to come quick because uh, oh, I'm getting Mickey. made fun of. Yeah. That but I'm doing my job. But I'm doing my job of wearing Take that. Them. mask off. Where are you right now? In my uh, personal mm, sort of office area. Also known as? In the garage. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it hot? No, it's nice and ventilated. I got a fan over there. It's nice. Wow, must be nice. He has air conditioning in his garage. We must be making great money at no. Sinbin. Can I put <laughs> this back on? Than I thought. No, no, we can't hear you now. Take it off. Maybe yeah, we can't hear you without it. it. Okay. All right. All right, so in round number three, you guys get to decide who is doing which role. 
So we'll let you talk it out, Jason and Claire. Which one are you going to do? How you thinking, Claire? What do you What do you uh, What are you feeling? Do you want to do the trivia, and I'll do, and I'll see if you're good at right or wrong. Listen, we're three for three, so let's do it. Yeah. Mercedes and Connor. Connor, I think you were really good at the trivia. What do you think? I'll guess if you uh, did it. I, I mean, I can do the trivia. No All right, do Connor's doing okay, trivia, yeah, and Tyler and Cannon. Wait, is this the very last round, or this is just? This is the third round of the regular round. Then there's okay. one round after that. Okay. Uh, Cannon, you want to answer? Yeah, I'll do, I'll do the trivia. That's fine. All right. So Jason, Connor, and Cannon are doing trivia. Claire, Mercedes, and Tyler are matching. Are the scores right. correct there? Yes, you're still Scores are correct. It is 11 to 11 to 7. Jason and Claire remain in last. I, Double one of these this days, round, Claire, though, so. he'll get out of last place. <laughs> you might be the one to get him out of last place. We'll see. We're okay, here Claire. we go. Round number three, question number one. Who is the director of player personnel for the Vegas Golden Knights? Director of player personnel, Vaughn Carpin, Jay Millette, Will Nickel, and Chris Davidson Adams. All of these people do actually work for the Golden Knights. Mercedes, put your guess in view there. What if you think Can Connor's going to get it right or wrong? Claire's got her guess. Everybody's guesses are there. Now our trivia answers. Two from Connor. Two from Jason. Two from Cannon. Nobody feeling confident. Nobody feeling all that confident here. The answer is Von Carpen. Spades, Vaughn Carpin, 28th year in the NHL for Vaughn Carpin. Jeez. If you look at him, he doesn't even look like he's that old. I don't, that's a lot of years in the NHL. Vaughn Carpin has a good haircut, though. Terrific haircut, I must say. <laughs> Looks just like me. <laughs> Jason, do you have a spade in there? The old sleight of hand trick. He does have a spade, and Claire has matched. Yeah, that is Claire. Four points. Double points in this round. That's four. Connor. A spade is there, Mercedes. No, no points there. Correct answer, but no negative points there. Uh, Cannon, do you have a spade? You do not. Tyler said he oh! would get it right. That's oh. a loss of four. Who Ouch. is not in? Who is not in last <laughs> place right now? Ouch! What a swing! <laughs> yeah, what a turn Claire. of events. Jason and Claire tied for first. Four for four. Tied for first. All right, here we go. It's Round three, question two. This is a great question. Which oh. of these is the correct formula to calculate Sinbin.Vegas's points to elimination stat? I am not going to read all those, but one of them's right. The other ones are not right. Points to elimination. It's my stat that helps us figure out when the Golden Knights have made the playoffs and or won the division. The Sharks were two points away from being eliminated by the Golden Knights when the season was paused. I wish they had lost one more game and we could have eliminated the Sharks there. Unfortunately, that did not happen. So now it's paused at two. Tyler's guess is there. Claire's guess is there. Mercedes, we need your guess. There we go. And now we need our trivia answerers. One from Jason, two from Connor, one from Cannon. Correct answer is clubs. That's obviously, clearly that's how you do it. <laughs> I don't know why any of you would even have to consider any of the other potential options. It's clearly Team X games remaining times two in parentheses, plus Team X points, minus Golden Knights points, plus one. The one is for the tiebreaker, obviously. Can't believe anyone would even need to put up more than one. Connor, you had to put up two cards. Why? Well, it happens. I, you should know this. I read it at, it's I read an it at some question. point. It took me a while to understand it whenever I had to read it online. <laughs> yeah, so we, we actually had Alex do the math for an entire season, and he still doesn't know why, how it works. <laughs> and I'm well, supposed to trust him with yeah. the scoreboard? <laughs> this is a little, a little less advanced. Yeah, it's pretty close. Connor, is there a club in there? There is, there is a club in there, Ooh. so he gets it right. Mercedes, yes! Oh! Four points. Four points. Yes. Jason, you work for our site. And he has a club. Good job. And Claire, yeah, six points. Claire. Six points. Jason has taken over first. Cannon. Uh, Jason and Claire have. Jason and Claire have taken over first. That's fair. It shouldn't be mean. That's right. And that's right. Six. Oh. Wow. Close game. How the hell do you people know that? <laughs> how did they, How did you know that, Cannon? Um, I was just breaking them down by possible oh, elimination. Wow. Excellent. What a smart man.
That's impressive. I, I, I took me about 25 minutes writing fake ones. <laughs> I was like, all right, what would this do? I'm not sure how any of them do. So the score, Jason and Claire, first place, 17 points. <laughs> Mercedes and Connor in second with 15, and Tyler and Cannon in third with 13. We are setting up to have a great final round. All right, let's go we to are. the last question of the regular rounds. It's question three, round three. Who is the mayor of Henderson? The mayor of Henderson. Carolyn Goodman, Deborah March, John Lee, or Andy Hafen. Tyler's got his guess. Claire has her guess. Mm. Mercedes trying to figure out if Cannon's a Henderson local. Two questions. Okay. Connor, are you a Henderson local? No, I live in Texas. <laughs> that makes sense. That I sign wish I would have known that before I put my guess in. <laughs> I don't know it either. Jason? Yeah. Going with yeah. one. Cannon? Cannon, where do you live? Uh, Centennial Hill. So that's not in Henderson. But you still might know the mayor of Henderson. Let's be Connor honest. None of us really care who the mayor Going of with Henderson two. is. <laughs> two from Connor, two from Cannon, one from Jason. The correct answer is Hearts. Deborah March, and she is not a moron, as I've written in that screen. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Carolyn. That, that interview was so bad. Oh my God, that interview was bad. Let's go to Jason, first place, Hearts. This guy was something at some yes. point. Yes, no. yes, he actually was the mayor previous oh. to Deborah March. Andy oh. Nathan. Minus That's two. A loss of two. So oh. take loss of two, Claire. I'm so confident in you. Struggles. <laughs> he should have known that. Actually, I never go on that side of town. News, yeah, Andy, Andy Hafen was the mayor. Went back when Jason worked in the news. Connor from Texas. No. Wrong. Mercedes said he would get it right. That's Ooh. a loss of four. Ouch. Oh, Tough show question. me Deborah March. Cannon. <laughs> That's a heart. He got it. That's what? four. And they vault all the way up into first. So at the I end of the three regular rounds, Tyler and Cannon have jumped into first with 17, Jason and Claire second with 15, and Mercedes and Connor in dead last with 11. But don't worry, the final question, the fantastically named and not yet trademarked, but we need to, the actually a major final question, <laughs> we really need to trademark that. This question is a five out of 10. The way this works is we will have our trivia matchers, so Claire, Mercedes, and Tyler, you're gonna bid between one and 13 points using the other cards that you have there. So an ace is a one, a king is 13. You can bid up to 13 or however many you have. Uh, so Mercedes and Connor, you can only bid up to 11, which would be the jack. Good. So you take your bid and put it, uh, put your card in the view there, Claire and Mark Mercedes. You know, Tyler, if you had actual cards, cards, cards you wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> I would have shown it anyways. What are you talking about? <laughs> what was that, Claire? I had to shuffle through my whole deck of cards to find the number I wanted. <laughs> They're not in order. Oh, well, you could just be like Tyler and have I no should have just wrote it. Yeah. How in the world easier. do you not have cards at your house? You live in Las Vegas. I still don't need them. I can play this game just fine with all of these. Fair I'll enough. mail you a pack because we have like four in our drug drawer in I our don't kitchen. Need them. <laughs> I don't need them. I'm good. He's got, he's got his shitty cards all made up. All right, so leave those in view. Here is the question. Players of at least this height are allowed to get an exemption to lose, use a longer stick in the NHL. 6'2", 6'4", 6'6", or 6'8". You can only use one answer, Jason, Connor, and Cannon. Only one answer is allowed. Cannon's got his answer. Jason has his. Connor has his. So before we go to the answer, we're first going to see the bids. Let's start with Mercedes. Your bid is? Ten. That's a 10. That's Ooh. a 10. So you can have up to 21 points. Plenty, plenty enough to win the game. Second place, Claire, your bid is? Nine. Nine. So Love they it. can have up to 24. So if they're right and Mercedes and Connor are right, Jason and Claire would have the lead. Tyler, your bid is 11, so that is 28, so they would take the lead. Let's see the answer from Cannon. You've got a heart. You believe it's six foot four. Connor, you believe it is 
six foot six. And Jason, you believe it is six foot two. Wow. So parts, clubs, and spades. So if it's spades, Jason and Claire win. If it's clubs, Mercedes and Connor win. If it's hearts, Tyler and Cannon win. And if it's diamonds, Tyler and Cannon would win. This is exciting. This is exciting. This is the moment. Again, spades for Jason and Claire. Clubs for Connor and Mercedes. Hearts for Tyler and Cannon. The correct answer is clubs. Yes! Cannon and Mercedes have won the game. Six wow. foot six. Amazingly, six Jason covers hockey for a living and doesn't know the rule book. Hey, there's, hey, some, thought it was you. there's some small guys with long sticks. There is only one player wow. in Golden Knights history to ever uh, have the exemption. That's Nick Haig, six foot six. So let's go to our prizes of the day. Our prizes of the day are here. Last I think place. That's correct. Oh, we had a tie. All I right. Well, I guess both yeah. teams get this. Both teams who finished in last get a head nod next time I see you in T-Mobile Arena and a follow from the at Sinbin Vegas Instagram account. Can I raise unbelievable prizes? You don't want that, Claire. <laughs> and for our winner today, hang on. For our winner today, Connor, you have three options, all right, from the prize bin. Option one is a hat, a Sinbin.Vegas hat. However, we only have small medium. So if you have a large head, but it run, it runs big. If you and and we're not going to send you the hat I just put on. So I'm going to keep this <laughs> now. Option two is a sticker and a magnet. The sticker's holographic. Okay. We oh, spent like five dollars on these. <laughs> or the last one is the cash option. I'll send you five bucks on Venmo. I think I'll take the hat. He's going for the hat. Nice choice. He's going Very for nice the hat. Choice. Can I put this in? Congratulations. No. We are not <laughs> going to give away that mask. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Everybody wave. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. This was fun. Yeah, Good thank job, you. Connor. Nice job. Yeah, good job. Thank you.